and welcome to Filipino Tire Collectors Worldwide. My name is Andy and for today's episode, I will be unboxing these two packages. So, I was supposed to wait for two more packages but, you know, I'm not even sure when they're coming. So, I decided to just open these two. So, it will be a quick episode. A short episode, basically. So, but I might add a few more comic books, you know, so that it's not just unboxing. We, we see other comic books as well. Anyway, let's start opening these packages. So the, so the first one, the first one is a raw comic book and this one actually is from a Canadian seller. So I didn't need to pay tax. Oh yeah, oh my god. So it's hard to open this. Yeah. Yeah, so let's open the first one and for now, most of the stuff that I buy are all connected to MCU. Like a lot of the collectors, uh, a lot of the collectors are doing now. Uh, most most of the comic collectors are basing a lot of their collection from the MCU because um, these are mostly the people who are uh, want to flip their their books, right? So, and it's good to oh, there's two. Oh, all right. So what happened here is I was trying to buy both comic book and uh, the same comic book, but it came from the same person. So I got, that's why I'm thinking, why is the other one taking so long? So both are, came from a Canadian seller. It's funny. Anyway. Oh no, it's not. I thought there's two. My bad. So the other one is not, um, the other one is still probably... Uh, on its way here so this one it's well protected I may say shipping for this one is very cheap because it's just uh, I think it came from Ontario it's not even from the west side oh wait there is two I oh he gave he gave me another one Wow hum blood comics where is this place so you know what Let's give them a shout out for Humblood Vintage Comics and Pop Culture Collectibles. They have a, a, a Facebook a Facebook page actually. It's a Quasar number one because of uh, my speculation for MCU. Um, and then he gave me uh, this is like a indie comics, Eclipse Comics, the new wave. <laughs> And I don't know about this guys. This guy's this is uh, it's an indie. Yeah, it's wow actually it's a Canadian comic book. This is hundred one dollar fifty Canadian. So I'm not sure if this is vintage. It looks like it's kind of vintage. Or uh, maybe nineties. A dollar fifty cents. So yeah, I got two comic books. One is Quasar One. I already have one that is in very good condition, and this is my second one because I do want to sell sell one and also keep one. Have have one um both graded and then sell one. Depending on what's happening, hopefully the the movie becomes better uh better than what we expect. And also, I am getting the first appearance of uh, Quasar. <coughs> anyway, so I got. Class are number one, and there's a freebie, the new wave made by Eclipse Comics. Cool. So this for the this one is from the um, the first package, and then now I'm gonna open this one. So this one is there's only one comic book in this. So basically I'm just showing you uh, two comic books. Well I guess three because of the freebie. So for this one, this will be a little bit hard to open because. The flaps are glued, sort of glued, right? I don't know what it's called, but it's like a two-sided sort sort of tape thing. So, and it's uh, it's pretty hard to open it sometimes because of of uh, how sticky the thing is. So, let's see. Let me see if I can just. Tear this. See, see that? There's like some sticky stuff there. You really have to force it open. Mm -hmm. I don't want to 
want to damage the comics in front of me. Oh, wait, wait. I have to open the side. But unboxing is fun, right? So even though there's a little bit of struggle here on my end. There you go. There you go. There you go. So this is the eBay um, transaction, I guess. The, uh, yeah, this is the order, the order sheet from eBay because <coughs> this guy, uh, a lot of the uh, <coughs> U.S. sellers, they, they send it to um, their U.S. Uh, what was that? The, something with a boil. So that one. Wow, this one is awesome. Look, look, guys. This, this is how crazy it is. This box includes like styro for CGC. See how, how, how there's so, some sort of like shells there for CGC. There's only one CGC there, but you can, you can, you can actually put like three in here, right? With the, with the styrofoam protecting them. All right, so. Did you see it already? No. Let me check the 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 casing. Oh, this is a new CGC case. You can tell it's with the um, uh, what do you call that again? <coughs> the the notes. All right. So what I have here is a Ghost Rider number one. It's our low grade <coughs> Ghost Rider one. And this one is from 1973. I, oh, I, I've been always, I always want to have one, even low grade. <coughs> Expensive one actually spot like five. And that's the first appearance of Ghost Rider. This is the first issue of Ghost Rider. Yeah. Can you see it? So, wow, it's awesome. I have a Ghost Rider one. <laughs> I always want to have one. Yeah, Ghost Rider number one, first issue, 1973. First appearance of uh, Son of Satan. Son of Satan. Anyway, guys, so yeah, so just showing you what I got is the Quasar number one, Ghost Rider number one, and then the freebie, which is the new wave made by Eclipse Comics. So. I know this is uh, a little short, but I would I, I also want to share <coughs> my uh, Death of Wolverine. I got this like when it came out actually uh, in our uh, comic books here. So <coughs> I was actually checking out Batman comics, and then hey, you're not buying the Death of Wolverine because I'm not updated in comics that time. So like, oh why? Um, I have a really good one here, and he showed me. This variant, uh, Death of Wolverine number one, with um, Deadpool uh, uh, part of the cover, and it looks awesome. I said like, okay, but it was hundred bucks during that time. I can't remember when, when when I bought this. It's probably like ten years ago or something, or even more. I'm not sure, but I I um, he sold this for for hundred bucks, as you can see the, the and uh, this is just a regular. This is the Fort. Uh, the uh, the fourth book because this there's only like four parts so this one is the last one <coughs> and for some reason I'm not sure if I lost it but I, I should have number two I have number three and number four here and I have variants because this one is the one that uh, the one that he told me I should get because um, as you can see this is number four variant a Canadian variant and then this one see they're the same except for the background so this one has the uh, Canadian flag behind <coughs> Wolverine and this one is like just black this is just the regular part four and this is the variant Canadian part four so if you look at look at it uh, look it up this one has more value of course than this one and then I have the variant of number three and then there's the weird thing is I'm missing two I'm pretty sure I bought the whole set but I I, I don't know I can't find the, the second issue 
it's just stupid of me not to get the uh, the other variant of one because this one already took uh, cost hundred bucks so I, I didn't get the other one anymore I said oh this is good enough because I wasn't I wasn't like as hardcore as you know well right now so <coughs> I am contented with just one set one part one to part four having two var uh, three variants and one normal but the thing is I'm pretty sure that number two that I got is a variant because I remember the cover it has that so if you're new to this channel please like and subscribe and that will support my channel a lot thank you so much for watching and for the support I really appreciate it and um, yeah just make sure to check out my other friends channel too like you you'll see them post on my uh, comment box uh, especially like Lawrence um, Boy Bukas um, Matt uh, there's a few more um, dad's toys so anyway guys um, be, uh, before wrapping up just uh, showing you again what I got so I got Quasar number one in near mint condition I have new wave um, in the book uh, what issue is this Ish uh, it's 10 we have this as a freebie and of course our Ghost Rider number one 1975 low grade <laughs> I just have to have one this doesn't matter what the grade is it's uh, something that I am comfortable spending on this I know I can get a better one but probably um, I'll, I need to spend like more like another 200 or something 300 so I'm okay with just this this display there anyway if they're CGC you, you can't open them anyways it's most likely like a display just put it here but the thing is I used to have like uh, some books here but they fell so I, I just left one hopefully I can like set up something so that we have uh, a few more comic books there like I put some like some good ones um, some major some major major books major key books anyway guys thank you so much for watching and peace